Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Speakers on the podium, ladies and gentlemen. At the uh, very offset, let me take this opportunity of uh, thanking the organizers. Thank you. Of thanking the organizers for giving me this opportunity of being present here amongst you today and to be able to share some of my thoughts with you. The topic which has been given to us for today is dreaming about the law, Pakistani, South Asian, and the international legal context. I was thinking about this and when I was coming a thought crossed my mind and that was that dreams are essentially aspirations, ambitions and to a great extent idealism. But on the other hand, what we are confronted today in Pakistan is with a hybrid situation. You have a hybrid war and I would go to the extent of saying that you have a hybrid democracy. And therefore when you have a state of high hybrid, then that according to me is an antithesis to dreams. I had spoken to you a moment ago about hybrid democracy and I think if you look at the definition of hybrid democracy you would find that you that it is one in which you have the army and the judiciary working together in order to produce a strong executive an executive which is sans its responsibility to its executive, to its, um, uh, to its voters. In a hybrid situation, according to me, you have a situation where the Constitution is in a state of continuous mutilation. And what do we have today? Unfortunately, today you have a situation where not only the Constitution is in a state of animation, is in a state of suspension, but you have a situation where Parliament where Parliament is totally redundant and it is redundant for the simple fact that you have the state and you have the executive which feels it more convenient to bypass Parliament and to make it redundant. But what we fail to understand is, and what we have failed to learn from our history is, that Pakistan is a multi-ethnic federation. And that Pakistan was created as a federation. Pakistan was created as a parliamentary democracy. 
if you look at all the instruments that have come minus the 62 constitution which I personally do not recognize as a law but nonetheless since it is on the statutes or was on the statutes if you look at all other documents you would find that there have been shades of federalism to what extent provincial autonomy has been given is another matter but by and large there has been provincial autonomy and there has been a parliamentary form of government but unfortunately today we find that efforts are afoot to change the parliamentary form of government and even today as we are speaking and as we are sitting here today we have I would not be in a position to say a quasi-presidential form of government but I would say that we have a quasi presidential come prime ministerial form of government where as I said Parliament is redundant where lawmaking is done through ordinances where respect for the Constitution flows from the fact that in total and utter disregard and violation of the Constitution of Pakistan 1973 two members of the Election Commission of Pakistan are appointed throwing to the winds the constitutional process provided for them and then when the Election Commissioner the Chief Election Commissioner his conscience does not permit him to take an oath of office to take their oath of office we find that there is talk that a reference may be filed against him in such a situation what am I to dream I cannot be Martin Luther who stood on the who stood on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial and said I have a dream because I cannot be Martin Luther for the simple fact that my dreams and the dreams of my people have been shattered every 10 years every 10 years I have had the Constitution put in abeyance I've had the Constitution abrogated I've had the Constitution suspended and then when I have seen a realization of some sort of form of democracy I have found that that democracy is changed I have found that that democracy is compromised I have found that still the policies of defense and foreign affairs and economic affairs continue to be run by Rawal Bindi but the story does not end there the story is even worse and it becomes even more gory when I am confronted with the fact that when I or any one of my colleagues talks about fundamental human rights talks about provincial autonomy talks about the rule of law we are told that you are against the Federation and for that purpose I have to seek a certificate of being a patriot 
from Rawalpindi, but I want to make it clear that I am as big a patriot as anyone in uniform. So what am I to dream? I'm not being a pessimist. But I'm just being a realist. And the realist situation is that unfortunately my own class, the class of politicians, is compromised. Unfortunately, we have been pandering and we have been playing along with the political engineering that has been taking place in this nation and country. And as a consequence of that, I am not in a position to take up a position for the enforcement of my fundamental rights. And unfortunately, the age-old equation is now perhaps reviving again. And if you look at Pakistan's history from 47 onwards, you would find that the Pakistani state has every now and then changed its partners in order to perpetuate themselves. And for a very long time, the judiciary, the religious right, were their partners, aided and abetted by politicians like myself. There was a brief interlude when perhaps the dream was near being realized. But now it is shattered again. And it is shattered to an extent where I find and I fear that perhaps we are moving if we have not already moved to a situation much the same as that that confronts Cairo, Egypt. But those who sit in the ivory towers of power must have been rattled a little bit today when they would have read that in Egypt spontaneous demonstrations have broken out. The situation that prevails in Pakistan today is no better. The press is gagged. Press ke upar mukammal paabandiyan lagi hui. और शायद इससे तो बेहतर मार्शल लॉ का दौर था क्योंकि हामिद खान साहब आपको और आई रहमान साहब आपको याद होगा कि मार्शल लॉ के दौर में जब पाबंदी लगती थी और सेंसरशिप होती थी तो कम से कम अखबार के अंदर वो जगह खाली रहती थी जो खबर उतार दी जाती थी लेकिन यहां पे तो आज ऐसी सूरत हाल है कि मुझे ये नहीं मालूम कि क्या मेरा राइट हैंड जो है वो कहीं पे आई से तो हाथ नहीं मिला है आज आप देखें कि इन पाबंदियों के बावजूद इस सेंसरशिप के बावजूद बात की जा रही है के मीडिया कोर्ट्स बनाए जाएंगे मीडिया कोर्ट्स क्या है मीडिया कोर्ट्स इज एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ पुटिंग फर्दर प्रेशर ऑन द वर्किंग जर्नलिस्ट 
اور میں آج آپ کے توسط سے یہ بات کہنا چاہتا ہوں کہ ہمیں ہرگز میڈیا کورٹس جو ہیں وہ قابل قبول نہیں ہوں گے اور نہ ہی ہم ان کو قبول کریں گے آزادی رائے اینڈ ایکسیس ٹو انفارمیشن از آرٹیکل نائنٹین اینڈ نائنٹین اے آپ بنیادی حقوق کی کتنی خلاف ورزی کرنا چاہتے ہیں اگر یہی بات ہے تو وہ پورے کا پورا چیپٹر بنیادی حقوق کا آئین سے نکال دے تاکہ مجھے یہ اس بات کا علم تو ہو کہ میں غلام میں اس الوژن میں تو نہ رہوں کہ میرے کوئی بنیادی حقوق اور میں ان بنیادی حقوق کی انفورسمنٹ کے لیے کہیں جا سکتا جناب سوال یہاں پہ یہ بھی اٹھتا کہ جب بھی ایسی حکومتیں ہوئی تو پاکستان کس سمت میں گیا آج جہاں پاکستان کھڑا ہے اس کی ذمہ داری کہاں پہ بیٹھتی ہے مجھے آپ کہیں کہ پیز اے پالیٹیشن تمہیں ذمہ داری قبول کرنے کے لیے تیار لیکن تاریخ کچھ اور بتاتی ہے تاریخ یہ بتاتی ہے کہ جب ہائبرڈ حکومتیں ہوتی ہیں جو یا ڈائریکٹلی آئین کو معطل کر کے خود آ جاتی ہیں یا پولیٹیکل انجینئرنگ کے ذریعے سے آتی ہیں تو ملک کی سمت بدل جاتی ہے افغانستان کا کی جنگ کا روس کے خلاف فیصلہ کسی سیاستدان نے نہیں ضیاء الحق کی حکومت تھی جس نے وہ فیصلہ کیا اینڈ واٹ وار دا ریپریکشنس فار پاکستان یو ہیو دا ہیرو دا کلیشن آف and the drug culture infiltrate your society apart from other things which tore your society as under and you're still feeling the ramifications of that 9-11 ke baad <coughs> Pakistan ko ek baar phir America ki jholi mein phenkna سامراج کی کاسا لیس ریاست بنانا یعنی میکنگ پاکستان اے کلائنٹ اسٹیٹ آف امیریکن امپیریلزم واز ناٹ دا ڈسیزن آف اے پولیٹیکل گورنمنٹ اٹ واز دا ڈسیزن آف جنرل مشرف اینڈ دا ریمیفیکیشنز دیٹ ہیو فلون دیر فرام اینڈ وچ کنٹینیو ٹل ٹوڈے are for all of us not only to see but to bear and feel and I want to say that something is happening like this and God will say that I am wrong my perception is wrong لیکن کچھ ایسا محسوس ہو رہا کہ آج ہم پھر اسی سمت چلنے والے اور حکومت میں کون ہے ایک 
پولیٹیکلی انجینئرڈ حکومت ہے جس کو لایا گیا اور وہ سمت کیا ہے وہ سمت سعودی عربیہ اور ایران کے درمیان جو کشیدہ صورتحال بن رہی ہے اس میں پاکستان کے نیشنل انٹرسٹ اس بات کو ڈیمانڈ کرتے ہیں دیٹ پاکستان شوڈ ریمین نیوٹرل لیکن پاکستان کے نیشنل انٹرسٹ کا خیال ماضی کی طرح نہیں رکھا جا رہا ہمیں کس سمت لے جایا جا رہا ہے اور مجھے یہ بتائیے کہ ابھی پانچ تاریخ کو نریندر مودی نے آرٹیکل 370 اور آرٹیکل 35 ختم کیا پچاس دن گزر گئے ہندوستان نے ابھی تک کرفیو کشمیر سے نہیں اٹھایا کون سے مسلم ممالک نے ہندوستان کو کنڈیم کیا آج آپ جن کے ساتھ کھڑا ہونا چاہتے ہیں جن کے لیے پاکستان کی نیشنل سیکیورٹی کو ایک بار پھر داؤ پہ لگانا چاہتے ہیں انہوں نے تو کنڈمنیشن کی ایک سٹیٹمنٹ بھی نہیں دی اف دا مسلم اما کین لک فار دیر اون نیشنل اینڈ کوپریٹ انٹرسٹ دین شیورلی اٹ از ٹائم that Pakistan must put away the bubble of the Muslim Ummah and look for its own national interests. To akhir me, I just want to say that the dream of the dream is a lot of fun. یونیورسٹی میں رشید رضوی صاحب کے ساتھ خالد کے ساتھ خواب بہت دیکھے لیکن وہ خواب پورے ہوتے ہوئے نظر نہیں آتے لیکن میں مایوسی پہ گفتگو کو نہیں چھوڑنا چاہتا میں یہ سمجھتا ہوں کہ پاکستان کے نوجوان پاکستان کے محنت کش اور شاید یہی بات دوسرے بھی سمجھ رہے ہیں اس لیے طلبہ تنظیموں پہ پابندی اب تک برقرار اس لیے ٹریڈ یونینز کو سسٹمیٹکلی کل کیا جا رہا بٹ آئی ایم آپٹمسٹک آئی سی دا گلنٹ ان دی آئیز آف پاکستانی یوتھ آئی سی دا اسٹڈی ہینڈز آف پاکستان ورکنگ کلاس اینڈ وین آئی سی دوز ہینڈس آئی نو that the future of Pakistan is in safe hands. Thank you.